Now that Terra story is over, we can start on Ventus's. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna skip over the first cutscene. Because uh, it's exactly the same, no matter which story you're doing, so... I'm gonna cut most of it out. Just gonna plop it down here. Because again, it's exactly the same, no matter who you play as, so... If you want to rewatch it, go watch the you know first part of my Terra story playthrough. I have to keep up appearances. Yeah, I don't think you're doing a very good job of that, Master Xehanort. You obviously are evil. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. Oh, uh, really? Is that so? Sorry, but I need some time alone. Aw, poor Terra. There we go. Now we got some new stuff. Hey, watch it. You're going to break that window. Yeah, is it, is that like holding a like a weapon like that? Is like is there any weapon you can hold like that and have it be effective? Like I don't know, it always weirded me out. Who are you? Oh, hello. you'll never see Terra again. Stranger danger. Yeah, also, who are you? I, I like how he just drops trying to find out who this guy is and just starts having a conversation with him. <laughs> Look, guy. I know you're being kind of a dick, but I'm just going to be conversing with you. Ooh. Hey, you're the one wearing a skirt. Uh. Yeah, I love how this is the incentive for Ventus to leave home. Having some weird guy in a mask break into his room and say, Hey, you should probably go out there. Terra's gonna leave you now. Like, that's it. That's <laughs> that's his entire reason for going on this adventure. It was because some guy in a mask told him to. Like, wow, very... You're a fucking idiot, Ventus. All three of you are fucking idiots. Ventus, if you steal from Aqua's panty drawer again, I won't be able to cover for you. Gee, what, what did he say to him that made him cry like that? Good lord. What the hell? Oh, okay, I kind of want to know what they said that was that funny. I want it on the joke. Yeah, but seriously, that, like, that's it. That's the entire incentive to go on this adventure. Is because some guy told him to. Some guy he never knew, he doesn't know. Like, if it was Master Xehanort, it'd be one thing, but it's just some guy who broke into his room. He never tells anyone about it. Ugh. Like, I, I know I said I kind of gave Ventus a little bit more slack for being an idiot because of how young he is, but... Sometimes it's kind of hard, man. It's just, it's just kind of hard to forgive him for his stupid bullshit. Oh, really cool. Yeah, I guess that is another portal of light. Yeah, I, I mentioned that last, in the last video. We don't see very many light portals, mostly ones of darkness. Especially in Kingdom Hearts 2. Man, I, I, again, we better get this shit for Sora and Riku. And I guess Kairi too, and Kingdom Hearts 3, I swear to God. Oh, here we go. Man, I like how they all have different animations for activating their armor. And I do like how his is basically just like a smaller version of Terra's. Kind of shows how like he kind of has that, you know, like big brother worship thing going on. And I also do like how each one has a different vehicle uh, type. Terra has the motorcycle, Ventus has a skateboard kind of thing, hoverboard. And then Aqua has like a standing hover vehicle thing. Don't really know what to compare it to. All right. Yeah, and I also do, and I also like how uh, each character has their different style of wielding a keyblade, and like Kara's like the when he fights, he's like strong and with heavy swings. You know, Ventus has the quick, uh, nimble type of thing going on, and Aqua's more graceful, almost like a ballerina. I like that, and that was me cutting out getting uh, Ragnarok. So now I got that. Again, I, I will never make you sit through command boards. That stuff is the worst. 
And I had to play through every single one to get through the Mirage Arena. So, don't say I never do anything for you guys. Hey, there's the Seven Dwarves. Alright. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, Dwarves. I must be in the Lord of the Rings world. What, they're not singing? What, no remix of Hi Ho for the video game? Come on. Yeah, this is one thing. I kind of wish there was more Disney music. You know, there, it just doesn't, there's just not that much, uh, like, Disney-centered music in these games, it feels like. Uh, you know, especially considering it is a Disney kind of game. It's a Disney crossover, but whatever. Yeah, so, uh, each of the dwarves is voiced by somebody. Of course, so we have to list all those. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Let's uh, see, Doc is voiced by Andre Suglui. I don't know how to pronounce this. Sugliozo? Let's see, he voiced, uh, he voiced King Boomy from Avatar Last Airbender. Uh, let's see what else. I'm trying to, uh, he voiced uh, one of those mobster guys from Samurai Jack. Stitches, apparently. Uh, who else? He voiced, uh, C-8, I don't know how to pronounce that. H-S-I Wu from Jackie Chan Adventure. It's one of those demon guys. He voices, like, the bat type thing. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, God, Grumpy is such an asshole. I, I, I can't feel bad for Ventus. The first world he goes to, and he just immediately gets, like, harassed and, you know, verbally abused by these guys. And they just never let up. For whatever reason, they just remain completely, uh, they just remain, like, obsessed with the fact that he's a diamond thief. Or the theory that he's a diamond thief. Yeah, no, man, I'm here for your rubies. Yeah, and uh, Sleepy is voiced by Bill Farmer, voice of Goofy, and uh, Pluto, I guess. And a whole bunch of other stuff, but I talked about that before, so not going to talk about that again. Hey, you're just jealous and you're short. Shut the fuck up, Grumpy. Let's see, Bashful is Jeff Bennett. I mentioned, I talked about him before. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. Guess I'm going to have to beat the crap out of you guys. But yeah, so now you gotta just uh, capture them all, but it's really a boring sequence, so I'm just gonna keep rattling off voices. Happy is voiced by Steven Stanton. Let's see what he's done. Uh, uh, nothing I'm recognizing. Let's see, Star Wars The Clone Wars, he voices Mass Ameda. Edsel Bargain? I don't know, I never watched that show, so I'm not sure how familiar those will be to people who have watched it. He voiced the Pigeon Man from the Hey Arnold Jungle movie. I don't know if he did it in the original show. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, yeah. God, gee, I wonder who's in that fucking box. Hmm, I wonder. Could it possibly be Grumpy? Yeah, and then you gotta talk to them all. Well, you don't have to talk to them all, but you gotta find them all. And if you talk to them... They'll have their own lines with their own, you know, with their personalities. And then Sneezy is voiced by Bob Joles. He's done, um, let's see, in Final Fantasy XV, he voiced Iodolus Aldercapped. Don't know if that's how it's pronounced. Uh, he voiced Gremlin Gus and Epic Mickey. Didn't play that, so I'm not sure how, how, uh, accurate, how, you know, if anyone even recognizes who that is. Let's see, what else? <laughs> uh, let's see, looking for voices. Yeah, so, okay, uh, most of these guys are in boxes, but, like, uh... Well, of course, Dopey doesn't even bother to hide. And then, uh... I forgot, I forget which one it is, hides in that mining cart. I think it's Bashful, or... Yeah, I think... No, wait. I forgot which one it was. Eh. And then Grumpy, finally, is voiced by Corey Burton. So, 
And of course, Dopey doesn't talk, so he does not have a voice actor. Ah, sheesh. Yeah, rattling off voice actor and things gets tiring after a while. But thankfully, there aren't too many uh, Disney characters, or there aren't too many characters that Ventus uh, comes in contact with that Terra didn't, so. Oh, there's Sleepy. It was already morning, you idiot. This guy needs to take some sleep medication or something. Man, I, I, I gotta feel bad for Ventus. His very first experience after leaving home is all these guys being, like, they're just so awful to him. Like, oh, he's, like, no matter what he does, they just insist he's a diamond thief. No matter how many good deeds he does. Gotta feel bad for him. Ah, oh, well. Such is life for Ventus. Yeah, and yeah, I, I I didn't even know this was a thing you could do before. But yeah, you can use the Ragnarok to blow up the boxes. I think that's actually really funny. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I, I remember, I don't remember Doc. I, I know Doc did that thing where he mixes up words. I know he did that in the movie. But I don't remember him doing it so much. Like every, like pretty much every line of his in this game is him messing up, you know, mixing up words. I just don't remember him doing it that often. I mean, it's been a while since I watched the movie, so maybe he does, but yeah, I don't know. I I just don't remember him doing it like he does it like constantly. It's kind of that thing how I mentioned with like Captain Hook in the out in the crocodile. Like, yeah, it happens in the movie, but they make it happen all the time in Kingdom Hearts. Like, they just never let up on that joke. And it's kind of like that there with Doc. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What, what was that teleportation? I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. I wanted it to look cool, but I just gotta... I just gotta take him out the old-fashioned way. I think... Yeah, it's bashful. Yeah, there we go. And I'll take this out. I don't remember who's in this box. I, I, I was I was looking up all the voice actors, so I don't know who I've gotten so far. I think that's Happy? Maybe? Let's see. God, come out of there. Ah, these guys, man. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, uh, <laughs> he looks pretty angry for someone who's telling me I look nice. Wait a minute. Wait, so wait. Yeah, Doc, yeah, okay, that was Happy. Yeah, I always get Happy and Doc mixed up. Come on. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. I didn't steal a single diamond. That's what they all say. Well, we're on to you. <laughs> God, they're Come such on. assholes. You want me to leave, I'll leave. Aw, poor Ventus. You guys are awful. They were not this mean in the movie. Preferably not dwarves, because they're apparently all assholes. <laughs> Dopey wasn't mean to me. I could rely on him. Yeah, you can go back and talk to them all again, but they just say the same thing as when you talk to them uh, after you find them in the little mini game there. So there's no real reason to, because they say the exact same thing. And I did a bit of fast forwarding here, because just finding some common unversed. No need to show it all. Or at least show it all at normal speed. But yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I enjoyed fighting characters more as Ven, I think. I liked his fast uh, fighting style. Even more than Terra's strength centered, slower fighting style. I like that more. But that's just me. Yeah, I, I actually really, I should probably use zero grav, gravity spells more often now that I think about it. Oh, too late, because in terms of recording gameplay, I, I'm pretty much done. Just gotta do the final episode, the secret episode, and uh, the optional bosses. Gotta record all that. That's pretty much it. Ah. Well, 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 what do we have here? This must be where those little men live. 
I think I. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> ransack the place while they're gone because they were so awful to you. Yeah, break their windows, piss on their chairs, all that garbage. And I do like this little touch right here. You find a spell here, and it is poison, naturally. Can't get that sticker yet. Got a man. I collecting stickers wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but still, it's kind of a pain. Because you can't collect most of them until, like, near the end of the game where you have, you know, better jumping abilities. But whatever. Like, there's some that you can't get as Ventus until after you complete uh, Neverland. Yeah. Same thing with Aqua. Quick, steal all their stuff. Take all their money and, uh, uh, throw their pottery out the window. I don't know. Throw in the river. Actually, I don't think that would even bother them. Okay, let's see here. What do we got in the forest, huh? Where are all the- why are all the trees barren of leaves, anyway? Because this is like 10 feet away from a nice clearing full of, you know, lush, healthy trees. I don't know what the deal is here. Yes, go up in that chest. Now I can help you. Oh, don't get any ideas, Ventus. Poor defenseless girl in the middle of the forest. Ah, I see you looking at her, Ventus, you creep. Wow, you fucking idiot. Trees can't do that. Oh, it's okay. We were probably just seeing things. It happens to all of us when we're afraid. Aw. I liked that little interaction. It's nice. It's very sweet. And when you think about it, they're pretty much the same age. I feel quite better now. As it turns out, Snow White is 14. I actually only found that out recently while I was looking up like trivia for the Disney movies. Would you know any way I might? Yeah, as long as you don't rhyme like that again. But yeah, I didn't know she was 14. I just assumed she was an adult. Oh, I'm Ventus. Ventus. I, mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but... My name's Snow White. Turns out her real name's actually just really? Tiffany, but she calls herself that. That would make her first name Snow. Yeah, now we got another escort mission. <laughs> Look at her dainty little run, I love it. But yeah. But seriously, man, she... They, they really pulled off the sickeningly sweet voice of hers. From the movie, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. She just took a fireball to the face, man. <laughs> I would be scared, too, if I were you. I can't feel bad for her. <laughs> she just took a fucking fireball to the face. You know, if you keep moving, these things won't catch you. Just saying. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with this tr with these trees are. I guess they really are alive. That's pretty fucked up. But yeah, she of course she passes by every single tree on the way. Of course. Where is she? What? What's she? Wait, what's she doing back there? Ugh. Goddamn, Snow White. <laughs> At this rate, we're just gonna be, we're gonna. Wind up back in the castle at this rate. Yeah. And flash that. Not in personnel, tree. But yeah, uh, so nothing really, nothing too atypical about this. Just the trees, I suppose, but aside from that, it's pretty much exactly the same as any other escort mission in this game. God, you should just keep running. Stop stopping, for goodness sake. One of these days, Snow White. One of these days, bam, biff, boom, straight to the moon. Nah. Eh, oh so yeah. Are you coming? Oh yeah, okay, cool. Never mind. There we go. We did it. And she only has... Her damage wasn't too high. She only has a couple broken bones. And burns. I'm pretty sure you'll be safe here. But sit tight while I look around. 
<laughs> yep, another day done harassing children. There we go. Someone's asleep in here. What? So she just went up and took a nap? How long was Ventus gone? The coast is clear. Not a monster in sight. Uh oh. Couldn't stay away, could you? Aww. Who invited you in, you rotten thief? I didn't steal anything, you asshole. He's not a thief. He rescued me. There mustn't be more. I mustn't be fooled by him, princess. <laughs> so, no, no matter what. Please don't send him away. You see, he helped me when I was lost. And oh, so very frightened. I, 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 for, they just will not let it go. No matter how much Snow, Snow White sings my praise, they're like, oh no, he's actually a fucking asshole. I don't trust this bastard. Uh, it's just, it's, like, I don't know why. They just hate Ventus's gut for n guts for no reason. Well. would never do that. of course. I'm sure it was just a mistake when he bashed me with that key. It's all right. Princess, you trustn't be so musty. Oh, trusting. He's a liar. God, fuck you, Grumpy. I'm gonna punch right in your bulbous nose. Yeah, and again, I, I, I don't remember Doc doing that uh, word mix-up thing so often. Like, he can't go two sentences without doing it in this game. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, Ventus has some very um, poorly thought out, pretty battle dialogue. Like, like, every time he's about to start a battle, he always says the dumbest shit. Like, the most cliche things. It's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, I probably should have done some grinding before fighting this guy. Even riding a rock isn't too helpful here. But hey, I managed to win anyway, so whatever. In the end, it all worked out. Yeah, so you gotta watch out for those uh, puddles of poison. Oh yeah, I guess it does kind of drop poison as apples, sort of. Yeah, this is pretty helpful for this fight. The land breaker thing. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely be past level 2 when fighting this guy. Grind a little bit, don't be like me. Or is that again, I do manage to beat him, so I don't know. All right, that's it. I'm gonna shove this, these rocks right up your. Uh, well, I guess trees don't really have any assholes, do they? Oh well. Yeah, it's a lot better of a design than the fucking spinning wheel on verse. I mean, yeah, it's just a tree, but still, it's a lot less specific, you know. Well, I mean, I know it's you know geared towards you know. Uh, Snow White, because, you know, Poison Apple and the evil trees, but still. Still like it more than the spinning... I'm, I'm never going to let go of that spinning wheel on burst. Good lord, that was dumb. Yeah, definitely make sure you have some uh, cure spells from D... I don't know if you can buy uh, cure spells this early from the Moogle shop, so... Work up your D-Link, because they will usually have a cure spell. Yeah, I just barely, barely managed to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, no big deal. I... <laughs> Terra! Wilma! Alvin! Ah, an apple! <laughs> Looks tasty, I better take a bite. How the hell did she drop it all the way over here? That thing must have, that thing must be made of rubber. Bounce all the way over here. Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped this. Uh, eh. Oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, gross! She touched me. I really don't know what I would have done without that. Probably should have had multiple poison apples. Just saying. Haven't I seen that sword before? How can anyone look at that and call it a sword? You know Tara? <laughs> Ruffian. Oh, poor old lady who's totally innocent. 
I, I guess anyway, this is Ventus uh, helping out a villain, but... Okay, yeah, I guess she does look pretty nefarious, but... Yeah, but then again, who's gonna pick... Who's gonna think, oh, this old lady is a total villain? <laughs> Just lost off that word. Tara, I told you to... He kept harassing old ladies at home. I thought he had stopped this. Oh yeah, there we go. Treasure trove. I like it. Yeah, that was it. Yep, so usually Aqua is the one who visits each world last for the most part. Definitely in these first three worlds, she's always the last visitor. I think the only one where she isn't is um, Deep Space. I think it's the only one where she does not visit last. Let's see. How I don't remember this keyblade is better than my. Oh yeah, better magic. Even though I don't use magic too much. Anyway, next time I'll be going to. I think it's the Cinderella world next time. So I will see you then.